All right, guys, welcome to our April team time. I am super excited you guys are here. We are like in the throes of the spring selling season. So um, I'm super excited about all the fun stuff going on. I hope you guys are too. So we're gonna start off with, um, let's see. I wanna start off, let me share my screen. I went the whole, I even did a whole PowerPoint for you guys today. How cool is that? I don't always do that, but I did it. Okay, so here we go. So first of all, um, let's see. Um, we got, I want you guys to think about, um, think about, and some of you are brand new, I know that, so you haven't even done parties yet, and that's totally fine. But when you think back over your time with Pamper Chef, and when you think about a moment when you felt like everything was operating at like full throttle, operating in high gear. So maybe it was your biggest ever show. Maybe it was a show you got like a ton of bookings, maybe a, and a contact that went really well, like you followed up with someone and it was so much fun and it was awesome. Maybe a host coaching call that was fabulous or maybe a recipe that just turned out beautifully. I know we've all had those recipe flops at live parties, but maybe it was a recipe that turned out fabulous. So I want you guys to share. So, um, you guys tell me, does somebody want to unmute and tell me, uh, what, share one of those times with everybody. I know Susan, you were Susan. There she is. You want to kick it off? Cause I know you've got some rock star moments. Um, well, I will tell you about, it's funny cause I was, um, chatting with Janelle and Heather one night and I said, I've got to go to bed, but I'm waiting for a very late post call and I don't usually do that but I did it for this lady because she has two jobs and she was hosting for me so I did it and you know what it was the best host call even though it was way past my bedtime to be on it um, because it's not just her hosting her and her husband are doing it together how fun. and her husband's a rock star her husband's a rock star he's like hey sue it's michael am i doing this right and he's responding to me as much as she is and i'm like i love them man we need them on our <laughs> they team have, yeah they, oh believe me i'm trying that <laughs> i already thought of that <laughs> we need some so guys. it's just like you never know how these host calls are going to go and, you know, I do the same thing for all of them, but I was like, oh my gosh, it's a couple. And they were, they, they're awesome. And they're all, the party just started and they are rocking it. They got 30 plus people going Yay. and he is doing a bang up job. <laughs> That's awesome. Sometimes the guys are better than the girls, you know, couples parties are super fun. All right. Who else wants to share something? Charlotte, what about you? You've had some Wahoo moments lately. Um, I would say I had a party at the beginning of March that had over $1,400 in sales. So that was pretty amazing. Yeah. We just, you know, we got on the phone, the host coaching, we talked for quite a while and it's just checking up and she just did everything I suggested, got the outside orders. It was just amazing. That's awesome. And I have to share one thing Charlotte told me in one of our calls over the past couple of weeks, she said she was doing, she blocks her time kind of like I do, where she only does her host coaching calls on certain days. And so she had the appointment and the host didn't answer or something like that. And she had her checklist, you know, and she said the host called her back and she didn't have her checklist. You were driving, right? Something like that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And she was able to do the whole host coaching call from memory. Like she was just bam, bam, bam on it. Five kids in the car. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. It means you've been doing it a lot. That's awesome. Okay. Who else wants to share? Somebody else has to have something good going on. Michelle Womack. What about you, girl? You hit your 1250 in two parties. I'm just going to start calling on people. Who else? Come on, y'all. I know you got some good stuff going on. Ashley, you normally speak up. What you got? I was afraid you were going to do that. <laughs> uh, I rocked four parties this week, and I didn't die. Nobody died. And my yep. kid is mouthy. That's okay. Uh, and 
it went well. Every single party qualified, and I was nervous about four, but I did it, and it was great. That was probably my personal best. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, so four parties at once, and nobody died. I love it. I love it. Anything else you guys want to share? Me. Yeah, Terry, go. So um, I did $1,000 by the 6th and earned the um, the incentive. I don't remember what it was. but She's like, I earned something. I don't yeah. know what it was. <laughs> Yay, so you're so, um, yes, and I also just booked my first home show. Are you going to take Sue with you? So it's going to be May 12th. I Yay. am. That's awesome. And I'm going to mute real quick because my kid's having a fit. So that's okay. That's Stepping out of your comfort zone. I love it. All right, anybody else got anything? Anything before we move on? Nope. Sorry, I was trying to get away. Can you hear me? Yeah, go. I was trying to get away. Um, yeah, so I did my 12.50 in two parties. Yay, so you qualified and you were all and worried about it. The first one was my, I was, I was so scared. <laughs> but um, the, it was my launch party, which was kind of just following your lead and then um, hosting my first party. Um, with my first hostess, it was just kind of one of those copy paste moments and just kind of following the system that's already laid out for us. So I should, I'll be submitting my next one tonight. That's awesome. I love it. So yeah, so lots of doing it scared, lots of stepping out of comfort zones. Very, very good. Okay. So now let me switch back to share my screen. Anybody else have a Wahoo moment real quick that you want to share? Anything else? I see no arms. Okay. There's no, I see lots of no faces. I just see names. You guys got to turn on your videos so we can see your cute faces. Yeah. We got to be able to see you. Melissa, do you have something? I can't hear you. Nope. Can't hear you. I see your lips moving and you're not muted. Can't hear you, can't hear you. Anjaya, did you have one? Um, I do. So I'm new, um, but I was able to, for the month of April, book um, Come on, baby. four parties. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. What was, how many was it? Four parties, um, including my own, my kickoff party. Um, and then my party, we barely made it, a little over 200, but that's still for the very first one. It's exciting. And then I had yes. someone ask me today if we could do an in-home party um, in June. So that's exciting. Yay! I love it. That's awesome. Lisa, you're unmuted. Did you have something? Did you have oh, am I? Yeah. Did you have something? <laughs> no, I didn't mean to unmute. Um, <laughs> She's like, don't call on me. <laughs> <laughs> make her talk. Make her talk. Make her talk. Stop it. Stop it, you. <laughs> That's okay. You don't evil. Have to. You don't have to. Um, no, I'll I'll go ahead. So um we're closing my launch party tonight and I'm like this close to six hundred dollars um for my launch party and I have my first actual party that started today. So so far, I haven't screwed anything up, so that's good. I'm actually a return consultant from long, long time ago, back from the ancient days of pre-Facebook. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yay! So this virtual party stuff is, is new and interesting to me because I'm, I'm a uh, live, in-home party veteran. That's, that's awesome. I had. Yeah. Yeah, that's all there was <laughs> until about five years ago. So, Yeah. That's awesome. Yay. Good job. Good job. Wendy, did you have something? Yeah, I'll talk. Can you hear me? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Um, I'm new also, and I've had, I'm on my second party now, and they're, they're barely qualifying for 200, but I'm doing three this week, and I have two for next week. So they're just, the bookings are just coming in. And Yay! I reached out to my family and friends on Facebook and Messenger, um, and I got like four bookings off of that and one booking 
have my last party. So I love yeah, it. It's going good. It's busy, but it's good. Yeah. And Wendy's literally just had surgery. So she had surgery. It was on your knee, right? <laughs> Wasn't on your knee? Foot. Your foot. Okay. So it she was just on my has, foot. Yeah. Yeah. So she literally just had surgery and she's just, she was like, I'm laid up. So I'm just going to do a bunch of parties. And I was like, go for it. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Love it. Okay, cool. So, um, Debbie, I see you. Oh no. So you take care of your fur baby. Um, all right. So I'm going to share my screen again. Okay. So as March was amazing, you guys, we have so many different director teams on this call. So I want to kind of do just an organization update and I haven't posted the recognition um, on our team page yet, but I just wanted to let you guys know, so you're the first ones to see this. We finished out March with $115,000 in sales. Now compare that to last March, last March guys, hold on to your hats for a second. We only did $52,550. So there should be like some jaw dropping happening right now. That is amazing. Amazing. We also added, um, 22 team members last month and I cannot remember, I looked at the number and now I've forgotten, I think it may have been 11 that we had last March. So that's amazing. You guys are all a part of that. Um, it doesn't matter how big or how small your sales were, um, without it, we wouldn't be at 115, 245, 52. Okay. So everybody plays a part. So congratulations. I don't know. I keep saying this, repeating what Judy Joel says, cause it kind of floors me a little bit, but Judy Joel is our U S sales manager. And she told us when she was here for training that we are the, the one of the top five fastest growing teams in the entire country. And you guys are all a part of that. So it's not, it's not the, the Mary show or the Susan show or the Janelle or Heather or Melissa. It's, it's everybody working together. And I just love that because we're a pretty awesome group, I think. So congratulations. So upcoming team time. So my personal team, we are going to be meeting on May 14th at 8 p.m. We will not be meeting that first Monday because I will be in San Diego for our annual incentive trip. Um, so Susan and Heather and Melissa, you guys are branching off next month. So you guys check if Susan or Heather or Melissa are your directors or Emily, um, make sure you check with them to see when you're doing your normal team meetings. But my team, that's when we are going to be meeting in Tessa's team. Okay. Upcoming training. So recipe for success. This is going to be super fun. You guys, this is going to be a six week training that is going to be Facebook style. So there's no zoom call or anything like that. We will be creating the events within our team awesome page and it will be focusing on just the key areas of your business. It'll be booking, um, host coaching, recruiting, how to have rockin' Facebook parties. Um, there's going to be a lot of, of training in there, but it's going to be quick, 30 to 45 minutes, Facebook style. There's going to be some, some images that you can share. We're all going to be interacting and having a good time. So that starts, um, we're going to be doing those on Sunday nights, actually, because that is, uh, seems to be a day that most people are free. And um, so that'll start on 429. We will skip Mother's Day Sunday, so we'll change that week around a little bit. But um, be on the lookout for those because you definitely want to plug in. National Conference. You've seen the team page blowing up about National Conference. It is August 2nd through the 4th, and I've got a little bit more to talk about that later, but you want to make sure that's on your calendar. And then um, our team goals. So this is kind of fun. Uh, Judy Joel, when she chatted with us at the end of last year, she said, you know what? I'm going to challenge you guys. Last year, we added 128 um, team members for the entire year. So she said, I'm going to challenge you guys um, to do that in six months. And I was like, uh, okay. So here's where we are. We are at 64 team members right now and we still have three months. So we're halfway there. And I think we're just going to blow that out of the water. So good job guys. I really want to be able to like text Judy and be like, Hey, we did it and we, you know, we see your challenge and we raise you by blah, blah, blah. So I think we're going to rock it. Okay. Let's see. Home office stuff. 
just in time for summer. We're getting new products. I don't know if you guys have looked at these yet. They look amazing. Um, so we've got two new summer products. And this is what Terry was talking about. When you submit $1,000 this month, you get these absolutely free. So this is one of those amazing perks for Pampered Chef is we get free stuff all the time. My husband will tell you that is, that is, uh, he tells you that's the, um, what do you say? That's the catch. That's what he says. Here's the catch. The catch is you get all these free products and you have to like blow out walls in your kitchen and store stuff under your kids' beds and in closets and all that stuff. You really don't have to, but you get lots of free stuff. So this is when you submit a thousand dollars in sales in April and that's by April 30th, midnight central time. Um, you are going to receive the new, what's it called, snack bar maker and set, and then the breakfast sandwich maker. So these, I don't know if you guys have ever tried, you know, looked at the ingredient list on the back of granola bars. It's pretty gnarly, okay, unless you're getting like the really expensive organic, you know, no additives, blah, blah, blah. So this is super fun. My kids are going to love this. Um, it looks, I haven't gotten them in yet, so I can't tell you what they feel or look like, but from what I'm seeing, it kind of looks like the ice cream sandwich makers, almost like there's a, a press and then um, I'm, I'm super excited. My kids are going to have a blast with these. And then the breakfast sandwich maker, guys, if, if the sales of the ceramic egg cooker or any indication of what the sandwich maker is going to do, it's going to explode. Um, the ceramic egg cooker, Tracy Brickcool, who is our CEO, she told a funny story when we were in Mexico last year. Um, they were asking her questions during a Q&A about products and stuff like that. And she's like, guys, that is not my department. She said, that's, I, I don't do products. I don't do catalog design. I don't do any of that. And she said, here's a perfect example why. They showed her the initial catalog for last spring when the ceramic egg cooker was coming out. And she said, um, why is there a whole page like designated to the ceramic egg cooker? That, like, that makes no sense to me. And so she's like, I just don't get it. And they couldn't keep that thing in stock. They completely underestimated the demand. It totally exploded as far as sales. And she's like, so this is why I'm not in charge of that department. But the ceramic egg cooker has completely just, it's amazing and people love it. So I think the sandwich maker is going to be super fun. So these launch on June 1st and on May 1st, there's going to be marketing imagery, videos, training, selling tips, all that fun stuff available to us. Okay. Um, so we got fun stuff to introduce in the summer. Okay. Um, seasonal party inspiration. This is something fun they've started coming out with. So they've come out with new in-person and virtual seasonal party stuff. So spring brunch, this is perfect for Mother's Day and for um, upcoming, you know, the upcoming season. So this is something you can use to book in-home parties or you can use this as a um, if you have a customer group, this is a really fun way to do a live video. You can offer a brunch party in your group. Susan, don't you do, um, didn't you start doing events within your customer group? I just did a mystery host party for the first time. Yeah. So one of the things that was recommended to us when we went to the, um, we went to a social media conference in January, they said to do a monthly event within your party, within your customer group, if you have one. So that's one thing that you could do. You could do like a brunch recipe demo. Um, there's social posts that are going to be available. There is a video featuring this lady right here. She's a director, Lucy, and she shows you how to make it. So there's some ideas. It has booking words to say. So there's lots of ways to use this as a way to get some bookings, okay? All right, and then the best ever, best summer ever party pack is coming out. So this will come out um, May 1st and you can use this for virtual. I'm actually thinking about doing one of these in my customer group as well. Um, it's got the barbecue, grilled barbecue chicken salad, which is in the new season's best. One of the quick sickle maker recipes. So there's lots of fun things that you can do with this one for in-home or virtual parties. And maybe we can throw together a virtual party template for this one as well to use over the summer. So the party packs are super fun. If you guys have not looked at these, 
it's a really easy way. I was talking to Marcy um, on our team page earlier today. She was using, looking at the brunch and punch one. So there's recipes listed. There's images that you can use for um, invitations. I would challenge you guys. This is a time when people are coming out of the woodwork and they're coming out of like the winter doldrums. So offer these live parties. I know most of you guys are virtual, but offer. Say, hey, would you want to get some friends together and help me test out some recipes? So this is a really fun way to do that because people love to get together. Okay, new cookware training is coming soon. You guys remember, if you've been around for a little bit, you remember our friend Stacey Itzel. She is actually, she was actually at home office last week and they're doing some videos training on our new cookware because there really isn't anything like it on the market. So we wanna make sure we're trained and we know how to talk about our cookware. So that is gonna be coming out soon and they're going to be dispersing that, I think via email and on Consultants Corner. So make sure you keep an eye out for that because that's gonna be really really, really good. Okay, Outlet. I know this is a change for those of us who have been around for a while. I want to make sure you guys are aware of this. So it used to be we could not add Outlet items to our parties. Um, this is was like a big Wahoo moment for us because it's always been a little bit of a frustration that we um, had to do a separate order for customers when they were purchasing something from the outlet. So they had to pay two shipping charges, um, all that stuff, because hosts couldn't earn the rewards. But now they can! So they can actually, during your party, they can add things to their cart from the outlet. Um, things to remember on this, they are final sale if they're outlet products, and it does say that in the item description if you look in the cart, okay? The other cool thing is the hosts earn uh, host benefits on this. They can, people can earn, they could spend $75 from the outlet and earn the guest special, which is awesome. Um, they could do that before, but not in a party. Outlet items obviously count towards your commissions as well. So this is just a great way to boost sales. So what you want to do, um, this is something they talked about in some of the stir emails, is you want to make sure that you focus on our new products and new ideas and new products. Um, we don't want to become like a discount store. So really the outlets should, outlet items should be focused on just little add-ons, okay, or someone finds it. I really haven't even been talking about the outlet in my parties. If you want to post it at the end of your party, I think a couple of people posted some things on the Team Awesome group, totally fine. But I would not make your outlet items the focus of your party. Um, focus on the value of the rock crock. Focus on the value of the new cookware and what that can do for people in their kitchens. So these are really just kind of add-ons, okay? And this is a much more seamless experience for our customers, so this is good, good news. Um, outlet inventory does change quickly, so that's why we don't want to focus on that too much in our, in our parties, okay? Because something could be gone pretty quick. Okay, new Consultants Corner. How many of you guys are loving the new look of Consultants Corner? Can I get a hand raise, please? Because, oh my goodness, it looks amazing. It is easy, mobile friendly. I am loving the one click to click on the order page and the party info. And I don't know if you guys noticed or not, like I'm really bad about this. Like if someone says, oh, well, can I extend the party an extra day? I'll forget to go in and extend the party on the end date. And so this will tell you how many days until the party ends. It's over on the left-hand side. It says like two days remaining or something like that. So you can actually quickly at a glance see, okay, is this party going to still be open when people click on this link? Okay, so this is super, super good. And you can see easily if it's been submitted, you can see your individual orders. So if someone goes onto your website, we used to not be able to see this, guys. If someone goes onto your website, it pops up right there in your parties and orders, which is awesome. We used to have to kind of dig to find these, okay? So online orders show up there too. All right, this is really, really good, and I know they've been working really hard on this, and there's going to be some new stuff coming out very, very soon. If you guys have questions, I can't see your faces right now, but if you guys have questions, type them in the chat as we go, and we can pause and, and talk about that. And then we've got some more recruiting resources coming for you guys. So if you go into, um, let's see, you go to selling and recruiting and then recruiting experience, there's a whole bunch of new images and all sorts of resources. You're going to see as we go through the next six to nine months to a year, a lot of updates to the website. They're really making it more functional, the back end of the website. 
making it more functional for us, putting things in logical places. It used to be we had to, you know, click three or four times to get to something. They're making it easier for us to find things. So this has dates um, for upcoming home office opportunity webinars. We're going to be doing those. I think it's once a month is what they're doing those. Um, events to supplement the ones that we hold each month and that dig into the Pamper Chef Perks group. Social posts, things like that. So this is a really good place for you guys to go grab some resources. Um, if you guys are, if any of you are in a director bound program or leadership is something that you're thinking about, definitely speak to your director or me and we will plug you into something to help you with that. Okay. Let's see. In April's Kid Enhancement Month, um, so for all of our newbies, if you don't know what Kid Enhancement Month is, it is the one month out of the year, April is it, when you can purchase up to $600 worth of product at 40% off, all right? So here's the deal, though. You have to be active in, Jan correct me if I'm wrong, leaders, if I'm wrong on this one, January, February, March, or March, April, May. So you have to be active with 150 or more during those three months. So January, February, March, or uh, uh, January, February, March, or February, March, no, fe yeah, February, March, April, yes. So as soon as you're active in April, it will pop up. And there should be a little pop-up box that says, hey, you're, avail you're eligible for kid enhancement. If you are brand new and you haven't been in the business that long, your fourth month will be your kit enhancement month. So save up some of those PC dollars and then you can get up to $600 worth of stuff at 40% off, which is so amazing, okay? So oh, I, the dates are right there. I didn't even realize I typed those in already. Sorry. So um, let's see. You can also purchase samples of the new spring products at 50% off. So this is a really nice perk for us, guys. A really nice perk. So if you miss something in your kit, you can um, get it now. All right, national conference. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this one for just a second. So national conference is August 2nd through the 4th. It's in Rosemont, Illinois. And this is just outside Chicago. So you want to fly into Chicago if you're going to fly in. This is, um, this is a must do event. Move heaven and earth to get there. We get a sneak peek of the fall winter products. We get updates from home office. It is amazing the amount of information you can absorb in such a short period of time. And you can see the statistics. Consultants who attend see an average 15% increase in sales in the months following conference. So this is a huge boost to your business. Um, you can see the prices down here. If you were not a consultant, or if you were a consultant before July 1st of last year, it is $225 right now. But if you started, most of you, after July 1st, then it's only $99. That's crazy cheap. And you can use your PC dollars to pay for it. So you can bank some of your PC dollars. Housing did open today, so if you're interested in going or you're still thinking about going, we do have a face, separate Facebook group where we're chatting about all the details there. Um, who went to conference before? Who was somebody that went before? I know Carol did. Carol, do you want to share what you loved about conference like in three to five sentences? <laughs> it was crazy cool, amazing. Um, <laughs> The people you meet, the energy, the training, it's just, you don't want to miss it. You really don't. And you come back with so much knowledge and new friendships spread out with other teams and organizations. It's it, a must do. <laughs> it really is a must do. Melissa, can we hear you yeah. now? I was going to get you to share too. Can you talk? Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, so what would you, what would you say about conference? You're just literally taking in so much information, going through training after training. Um, I love meeting so many different new people and just, you know, being able to visit home office if you've never done it before and you're going this year, make sure you do it. You're, you won't be disappointed. It's true. All right, Vivian, I see you're on here. Are you able to chat? I can't, can't tell. There you are. Can you tell us? Okay, you tell us why conference is a must do. Well, there's a lot of networking, and that's what I enjoy, you know, sharing tips with other 
uh, counterparts in the business and such. And, um, you know, the, the workshops are a must do, you know, whatever you're struggling with, those are the workshops you need to focus on. And um, it really is an amazing experience. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, very um, um, searching for the words and everything, but you're busy all the time. <laughs> you know, it's a whirlwind and everything, but it's a, it's a lot of fun. It's meeting great people. And so it's a great time. So it's a must do. It is a must do. Um, if you haven't registered yet or you're still thinking about going, definitely reach out to your director and talk about that. It is it is a game changer in your business. When I went to conference my first uh, time, it was 2016, I guess. Um, I went to conference and I was like, I was weepy the whole time because it was like so fun and seeing all these awards and all these amazing things that these people are doing. And I was like, oh my gosh, I, I honestly, I caught the vision of the big picture of Pampered Chef. The really, the heart of the business and Doris Christopher and what she, her mission was to bring families back around the table. And so we got to meet cute, you know, got to, didn't get to meet her, but you got to see cute little Doris um, up there on stage and her sharing her love of the business and, um, you know, why she started and, and what I, I imagine in 1985 when she was driving her car to that first home show and almost turned around, uh, I'm sure she never imagined what Pampered Chef would be now. Just, I, mind blown. But it is a fun, fun time. I remember there were lots of tears when everyone was leaving last year. <laughs> lots of people were crying because we were all kind of like, you know, um, seeing our team members for the first time. A lot of us, we, had, we see each other on Zoom and we talk to each other on the phone or via text or messenger, but we don't get to actually see our, the faces and be in the same room. So that was super, super fun. So it is like a big old family reunion. Yeah, Melissa. Mary, I want to add one thing, just, you know, being at conference, like I said before, if you've never gone and you're going for the first time, being with every, everyone is great and meeting all your different team members is awesome, but the recognition that goes on there is out of this world. It's so many different recognitions for so many different levels and just all the accomplishments that you've done and everyone has done as a team. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And you get to see like, a lot of times we see names on screens and we see, you know, like even posting our recognition, you see like our top sellers. And I remember um, Nandi came down for when Judy Joel was there, was here in St. Augustine. And she was like, oh, I get to meet Susan. And I'm like, yeah, you get to meet Susan. <laughs> So you get to meet all these people and you see their, you know, their names all over the place. So it's kind of fun. It's a cool time and we're going to have a blast. So make sure you join us for sure. Does anybody have any quick questions about conference um, before we move on to the next thing? Uh-oh, got screen share. Anybody? No, no. Okay. There's a lot of information out on the website right now. You can register and you can start thinking about housing. Um, housing is open. So make sure you find, we'll find a roommate. You can do up to four people per room. So that makes it pretty reasonable. And then there are several meals that are covered by um, Upline. I'm doing one. And then I'm trying to think of the other ones. Karen is doing one. So we'll have a lot of times that you can, you know, you don't have to buy food at every meal, which is really cool too. All right. So let's see where we are now. Okay, so national conference, there we go. Okay, so um, in April, let's focus on three reasons to book parties now. Okay, so I don't know if you guys know about this, but Mother's Day is coming up. So we talked about those brunch party themes. So offer for Tata Making Workshop. We've talked about workshops before. You could have this in your home. You could have this in someone else's home. Um, but you could offer a workshop in um, how to make a frittata. I mean, that's, that's a that's kind of a skill that not a lot of people have. You could schedule your own party, host a brunch with some local customers. Maybe you could do a hostess appreciation brunch. That might be kind of fun. Um, pass host, spotlight the stoneware. And even if you don't have the stoneware, if you earned some of the um, cookware when we did our new, when we got the new products, you can do that for Tata in, a non, in the big old nonstick skillet. So that's awesome too. And check the marketing imagery. Guys, there's, Paper Chef does a really good job of giving us images that we can use. You don't have to recreate the wheel. So you could do a brunch party theme. 
okay? The other thing, use the host special, okay? This is an amazing month to host a party, 60% off anything that they want. So here's a social kind of engagement post that you can do. One thing I did on my customer group right before Easter is I said, hey, if the Easter Bunny brought you a 60% off coupon for anything in the catalog, what would you pick? So you could do a fun post like that, just a 60% off image, um, and post that and see what people say, and then follow up with them. If they say, oh my gosh, I want some new cookware, then I would personally message them and say, oh my goodness, did you realize that Pamper Chef is offering hosts 60% off anything you want this month? Would you be interested in, in setting something up and earning that cookware for 60% off? Very easy, guys. Just post it out there, see what they say, and use that for engagement. You could post that in your parties even. I posted it in my party some too. If the Easter Bunny brought you a coupon for 60% off. And then follow up. Personally message and follow up. And let's see. Cinco de Mayo. Okay, we already have a fajitas and margaritas pampered chef template, right? The virtual template. So offer a Cinco de Mayo party. All you have to do, guys, is change the name of the party. That's all you have to do. And all of a sudden, it's a Cinco de Mayo party. So this is another thing that you could do in your customer group if you wanted to host a Cinco de Mayo party. Go live and show them how to do fajitas in the Rock Crock in 15 minutes. Rush Hour Chicken Fajitas is the recipe is, that's my favorite. Easy, easy ways to um, show people how to have a Cinco de Mayo party, okay? All right, gift giving. We're in gift giving season. This shocked me. I don't know that I've ever spent $170 on my mom's Mother's Day gift, but apparently that is the average. $170 on Mother's Day gifts. I mean, whoa. <laughs> so are you guys talking about Mother's Day and some gift giving opportunities? You can always, if you're not checking the Pamper Chef Facebook group, uh, Pamper Chef has a corporate page. You can share those posts. Share those images, share those videos on your customer groups or on your personal wall. Hello. I mean, that's crazy. Honestly, I I can't even think about 170. I don't even know what I would get my mom for $170. So you could set dads and kids up with products to make moms breakfast in bed. How fun is that? So offer a set, the pancake shaker bottle, pancake molds, and the cold brew pitcher. That's a gift, a package gift under $100. So you could come up with packages to sell to people. Fun, easy, easy ideas. So you could say calling all husbands or calling all, you know, dads or whatever and post that on your, um, on your wall or in your customer groups. Okay, graduation. So this is kind of a fun thing that you can do. When my my cousin last summer, she was heading off to college, and she's had you know was going into a small apartment for the first time. And I said, hey, let's do a pamper chef party, and you create a wish list, and you get to be the host. So we set it up like a registry. We walk through the catalog, and um, we invited her friends and family, and they would could either purchase something for her, or they could purchase something for themselves and she got the host benefits. So you set up just like a bridal shower, but it's for grad, um, college grads and high school grads that are going off to college. Um, so this is super easy, fun way that you can offer that as well, okay? Because there's a lot of products that they can use in a dorm, ceramic egg cooker, the anything with a microwave, right? <laughs> so they can do that. Um, so that's just another thing that you can offer to potential hostesses, right? I've got a lot of housewarming stuff right now and fundraisers. If you guys are not talking about fundraisers, you really should. All of these walks for MS and, and um, there was one, oh goodness, there's one for cancer. There's one, uh, there's a whole bunch of them going on right now. So I've been able to help a lot of people raise money towards their goal. And usually their goal is like $2,500 or something like that. So they do a bunch of small fundraisers, which is perfect. So they can do a quick Facebook party and people can help them raise funds. So that's something else to think about. Um, okay, so make sure you guys are checking the website. There's a lot out there. If you have not done the party experience training, I highly recommend that you do that. That's in PCU. You can also take the bookings course on PCU. So much information and um, new product training, okay? Lots and lots of stuff. There's the seasonal party flyers. There's um, 30 days of gift giving. That's on Pamper Chef's Facebook page like I was talking about. You could just share those posts. That is totally fine. There's a Mother's Day gift flyer. 
fully, I mean, that's just so many things, guys. So many options for us to use. Okay, April promotions, if you aren't aware, when you submit the $1,000, you get those free products. New consultants, anyone who signed up this month, when you submit $12.50 in your first 30 days, you get the new cookware tool. I want to call it the turnabout. It's going to be the turnabout forever for me. But cookware tool and utensil holder set. So it's the utensil holder now, but it has all the new teak and the stainless pieces um, that they can get to $148 for free when they get $12.50 in their first 30 days. And then host, we already talked about that. And guess the measure all cup. If you don't own a measure all cup, you should. That was one of my first Pamper Chef items. I still love the measure all cup. And then I don't know if you guys have seen these in the marketing imagery. There's training worksheets for everything. Did you guys know those were there? There's training worksheets, and it gives you words to say and things to do. Holy smokes. You can use those. Use them. We have so many resources at our fingertips. So when you go into marketing imagery, it's going to be in there with the host and the guest specials. Okay? So experience training. Like I said, if you guys have not been through these, one of the things they ask you to do is to make a promise. So one of the virtual promises is um, I promise to solve problems. So one thing I want to challenge you guys on, on your virtual parties, get to know your guests and your hosts. Guys, with your hosts, this goes back to host coaching. You should be on the phone with your hostess at least once during the party, okay, before the party, preferably. With your guests, every comment should get a response, every comment, whether it's if they say, I love somewhere, oh my gosh, which piece do you love? There should be conversations that are happening in your parties because this is the way we get to the bottom of what they actually need. So we're solving their home, their problems in their kitchen. Provide recipes and cooking tips. Okay, if they say, I have the spiralizer or I have the, um, I don't know, the, the large round stone, what can I make besides pizza? Go on the website, search for large round stone, click on recipes and pull up things that they can make and then comment with the link. This is providing value for our guests and this is going to make them come back to you. This is solving a problem. So offer customer service other re online retailers can't. Nobody else. I don't know the last time I was talking to somebody about this today. Um, I wanted to order some perfectly posh like the skincare stuff. And uh, I said, you know, the person I ordered from before never followed up. So I don't know who she is. So she just lost the sale. Are you following up with your guests? Are you thanking them? Are you telling them, um, you know, offering them recipes and suggestions of how to use the products after they have them in their kitchens? It takes a very quick message, a very quick follow-up, but this is where the fortune is, okay? So we want to solve kitchen problems to help guests break barriers, okay? So we want to give them some solutions for the problems that they're facing in the kitchen. If they're a busy mom like me and they barely get dinner on the table most nights, then we want to offer them solutions and products that will help solve that problem, okay? So when you take the virtual experience and the, the in-home party experience training, they're going to ask you just to make some promises. And this is just a way for us to be good consultants and um, build those relationships with our customers long term. Okay, so some challenges for April. You guys ready for it? Bingo. Who likes bingo? I love bingo. Carol, I saw your scrunch up your nose. What does that mean? How do you not like bingo? I love bingo. Who doesn't like bingo? Oh my gosh. Okay, so bingo is not just for grandmas. Okay, so I want you to grab your daubers and your bingo cards. So this month, all of our directors on this call, we are going to team up. For this month, you're going to earn one bingo card for each show that you submit um, in the month of April. For every show that you submit. So if you submit six shows, you got six bingo cards. It's going to be a little hard to keep up with six, but that's okay. We're going to do it. Maybe you can call your family in. Do you, do you remember, like, have you guys ever seen, have you ever gone to bingo with your grandma? I mean, like, you have, like, 15 cards on the table, and they're, like, pew, 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 the whole time. It is a crack up. So, okay, one card for each show that you submit. You're going to earn three cards. This is a big one for every three-way conversation you set up with your director with a potential new team member. Okay, 
So this is you saying, Susan, I have this person who's interested and Susan says, okay, so let's get a three-way conversation going. And you say, okay. And you ask the person, hey, I'm brand spanking new at this. Do you mind if we set up a three-way conversation with my director so she can give you all the information? And most of the time they're gonna be like, sure. And that can be over messenger, that can be over phone, it doesn't matter. But you're gonna get three bingo cards for that. That's a lot of bingo cards, okay? And then for each new team member that you have, you get five, okay? I'm picturing Charlotte right now who has a, who's done this a ton with me this month. Her whole table is going to be full. She's going to have to call in her whole family to do bingo that night. And then bingo night is going to be May 3rd at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So everyone that earns a bingo card, you will be invited to the event, and you'll be sent instructions on how to print out your bingo cards before the 3rd. All right, so there's going to be many chances to win the bingo. We're not just going to do one round of bingo. It's going to be fun. We'll change it up. And I even have a fun bingo machine. Like, I bought it on Black Friday thinking, oh, this would be fun, and then I never used it. So we have an actual bingo machine. We are totally going to rock the bingo, okay? So um, it's going to be super fun. So make sure you mark your calendars for that one. And directors, you will need to keep track of how many bingo cards each person earns, okay? And then we'll talk about how to send them their bingo cards, right? Okay. I'm going to have to say this slowly so I don't mess it up. Big ask, no buts. <laughs> All right, that is what we're talking about this month. And I have to tell you guys, when I created this image, it was a really hard to find a picture of butts that was rated G, okay? <laughs> so now through the end of April, you wanna check in with your director when you want to offer someone the opportunity to do what you do. So we call that the big ask because sometimes it's hard to ask, right? But aren't you glad somebody asked you? So when you have someone, so I'm going to pick on Susan because I can see her again. I'd be like, Susan, oh my goodness, I have this amazing hostess and I don't know what to say to her and I want to ask her to join my team. So what do I do? And Susan's going to say, say this, and she's going to tell you exactly what to say. And then you say, okay, they said this back. And she's going to say, okay, say this next. That's what we're doing here, guys. This is on the job training. This is learning how to overcome the butts when you ask someone about the opportunity. So for every time you do this, you get an entry in our drawing, okay? And I wanna be clear on this. This is before you ask them. If you've already started, you've already had a whole conversation with them, that's not what we're talking about. This is in the very beginning. This is us helping you overcome the buts, okay? Because there are gonna be some buts. It is rare that I find someone that jumps up and down and says, oh my gosh, yes, I totally want to do this, um, because they have to think about it for a little bit. So we want to help them overcome their hesitations. And you want to use the hashtag big ask, no buts. Be careful with that one. Don't say it too fast. All right. Okay. Let's do a recognition. What do you guys say? Okay, Susan nailed it again, and all I did was the people on this call. So there's a few people that um, when I post the organization recognition, so you guys give a round of applause for Susan. Way to rock it, girl. $6,089.52. And then Janelle close behind with $5,823. Miss Kimberly, is Kimberly on here? I didn't even see her. Is she here? Let me see. I don't see, oh, Kimberly, is that you? I see a Kimberly, maybe it's, hopefully it's the right Kimberly. Okay, so Kimberly Roebuck at $4,091. Charlotte, I know is on here. $4,048, and number five was a lovely Vivian with $3,017. Way to rock it, you guys. And our top recruiters was Miss Susan again. We got to kick you out of number one. Somebody's got to take her down, y'all. Three, <laughs> three new team members, Charlotte with two, and then we had one, two, three, four, five people that added um, one team member. So Nandi and Vivian and Anna, or Anna, not Anna, Anna, Tessa, and Christy. Good job, you guys. Way to rock it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, and senior consultants, new senior consultants on our team, that would be Charlotte and Christy Schilmont. Good job, ladies. That means you have, they had one new team member, at least one new team member, and that one new team member was active um, last month. And so they promoted to senior consultant. It means they get a 1% raise on their own sales and they earn a 1% override on their team. So that is super awesome. Congratulations, ladies. 
Okay, and then Janelle, the lovely Janelle. Janelle, you wanna tell us? Tell us that where'd she go? I can't find her now, there she is. Okay, so how excited are you that you're leaving on vacation next week? I cannot wait. <laughs> I am now counting down the days. <laughs> so um, how awesome is this for your first Pamper Chef vacation? It's amazing. Um, I All I had to do was basically give them my information and they set the whole thing up for me. So I felt a little weird because I'm used to doing all of that myself. <laughs> um, and then I got a box in the mail last week with, you know, my itinerary and some fun shirts and luggage tags and I'm ready. <laughs> That's so awesome. So um, Janelle, this is, Janelle started the end of April, right? Last year. Yep. So you, so you earned the trip in, let's see, what was that? May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Eight so months. eight months, like eight, eight months. months. So she earned a trip in eight months, guys. It is so doable. So doable. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, definitely. It just took tracking the points, keeping track of it, right? You want to keep your, keep focus on the points and break it yeah. down into bite-sized chunks, right? Yeah, I didn't have to do anything crazy. I just kept on steadily. <laughs> That's right. Consistency. Consistency definitely pays off. So, um, and then Heather and Allison are not on the call, but they are also um, traveling to Amelia Island um, next week. So that is super exciting. Oh, I'm so excited for you guys. Okay, um, let's see. So looking ahead to May, um, best summer ever. So they're gonna have some fun stuff for us to do. I have not tried this whole s'mores thing over the grill, but I am super excited to try it. So I, I think a s'mores party would be fabulous, honestly, if anybody wants to do a s'mores party. And then May is also Help Whip Cancer Month. So this is another idea of something you can run in your customer groups. You could do a Help Whip Cancer fundraiser. It doesn't have to be in your customer group either. It could just be something that you do. Um, so you can host the, the um, Help Whip Cancer fundraiser. And then if you submitted, was it 750 last month, you get the Help Whip Cancer products and those should be shipping out pretty soon. I thought I saw something saying they were coming to us pretty soon. So we're gonna have specific products that we can offer just during the month of May. And that will help raise money for um, breast cancer research. So it's pretty cool. This is something we do every May and October. And a lot of people look for these pink products. They really enjoy supporting the cause and they get excited about it. So that's something to look forward to for next month. And then, okay, so we don't know what the new consultant special is for next month, obviously. That comes out on May 1st. And we don't know what our sales promo is for next month. I can't wait to find out. But for May hosts, they get 60% off the cookware. So what does that mean, guys? That means we should be talking about cookware this month, right? To build for bookings in May. And then um, I don't know if you guys have the mini serving spatula. That was also one of my very first Pamper Chef purchases. Um, that is one of my favorite pieces. And it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. So that's a great, great guest special. People are going to love that. All right, so affirmations. I've been talking to some of our directors and some of our director bound group about affirmations. And honestly, guys, I thought this was a big bunch of hooey until I started researching it a little bit. Um, so a lot of times, and I'll stop the share for a second so you guys can see my face, but a lot of times what we're saying to ourselves is what really affects our business. I know uh, Janelle can probably tell you, or Susan, what's, the, what's my phrase? What do I say? Tell the voices. Who wants to share? Because somebody, I know somebody can repeat it. Tell the voices in your head to sit down and shut up. There we go. There it is. Tell the voices in your head to sit down and shut up because the voices are wrong. Um, and I have the voices too. Everybody has the voices. So, so <laughs> Susan's like, yeah, Susan's had to be like mean with me a couple of times. So the voices are there for everybody and we listen to the voices and the voices aren't true. So what we need to do is we need to change what we're saying to ourselves. And so you want to work on positive affirmations. And again, I thought this was a whole bunch of hooey when I first started listening to it. I'm like, what ifs? That totally doesn't work. Um, but there is actually some science behind it. And I can post the article that um, talks about it. But 
it really is just a trigger in your brain. It's kind of weird <laughs> that your brain will believe whatever you tell it. Okay. So Susan, do you want to share a couple of your affirmations? Do you mind? We've been talking about your affirmation. So we talked about saying positive things. Okay. So saying positive things to yourself. She has her affirmations in front of her. So this is something where you want to write down what you're going to say to yourself. And the recommendation is you say it twice a day. All right. So you want to, you want to talk, uh, mention yours, Susan? Talk, you talk a little bit about your yeah, affirmation. You want me to have it, want me to read? I don't know. Just share a couple. Do we just, okay. Um, so I wrote basically, um, five total, um, and they encompass the next year. Well, from now till the end of the year. So I'll read you my first one. It said, it is now June 1st, 2018. I'm online shopping for my new navy blue cocktail dress to wear to the first Pamper Chef conference that I am attending as a brand new advanced director. So I can see myself, like it's all in the present tense, like it is now June 1st. Um, another one, um, our team eagerly adds 10 new consultants a month and I passionately recruit three myself. I quickly and easily develop leaders within our team. So I didn't put a date with that one, but that's in the present tense also. Right. And I'll do a big scary one. I'll read you my, my, my big scary one. Shall I? Should I yeah. give them the big scary one? Give them the big scary okay. one. Okay. Because if I read it out loud, that means it's true, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's now December 1st, 2018. I'm in such a relaxed holiday mood as I start to decorate my home for Christmas. I am now a senior director with a Pamper Chef. Our team's constant determination means we excitedly recruit and continually promote leaders in our organization. Yes. Okay. So, that? yeah, 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 that's awesome. So that's what you want to be saying to yourself. You don't, when you say stuff to yourself, like, ugh, nobody wants to book a party. Ugh, why can't I get shows? When you're saying those things constantly to yourself, guess what's going to happen? You're going to start to believe them and that is going to affect your results. We talk about that belief triangle a lot in this team. So your beliefs determine your actions, your actions determine your results and your results reinforce your beliefs. So whatever you believe is exactly what you're saying to yourself. So I want you guys to start checking what you're saying to yourself. Um, and I'll post the article that talks about the affirmations. And I would encourage you guys to write down some affirmations. Um, one thing I will tell you, uh, Karen Batty, who is uh, one of our upline directors, she was sharing with me, she has added um, 12 new team members this year so far. And I said, Karen, oh my gosh, you've never recruited like that before. What the heck's going on? And she said, well, and she read me off her affirmations. And it was all about adding new team members and adding value to people's lives and um, really helping people meet their goals and all those fun things. And so that has really shifted her mindset when it comes to offering the opportunity. So I want you guys to think about that. Whatever you're struggling with in the business, whether it's bookings, whether it's growing a team, whether it's leading, whatever that is, come up with some affirmations about it. I am a strong and confident leader. I am, I passionately welcome or I energetically and easily welcome two new team members each month to my team. And just watch what happens. Watch what happens when that's what you're filling your brain with instead of the negative committee that's meeting inside there that you need to kick out, okay? Watch what happens. So here's some affirmations that you guys might be able to kind of take and um, run with. So I have the skills and the support I need to achieve my goals. It's present tense, okay? You do have the skills and support you need to achieve your goals. A lot of times, guys, this business is all about self-confidence. You don't believe in yourself, and you guys can accomplish anything you set your minds to. I promise you. I personally, I, oh, I forgot to take out this will. The will needs to be out there. I personally schedule blank parties in April. So I personally have, you know, whatever that is for you, okay? I personally submit more than blank in personal sales in April, okay? I personally add blah, blah, blah team members in April. Whatever that is for you, say that repeatedly twice a day. Post it in your bathroom. Post it in your um, car. Post it on your dresser, post it on your refrigerator, post it all over the place because 
honestly, when you start saying these things to yourself, your mindset will shift. It will change. I promise you. So um, I love this quote from Audrey Hepburn, and I've got this on our director page too. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says I'm possible. So you guys be thinking about what you want out of your business and don't let yourself and the voices going on inside your head limit what you're capable of doing. You guys are all rock stars. I guarantee you. And there is no limit there. The sky is the limit. Um, so I want to open it up. If you guys have any questions right now, um, as it relates to conference or anything that's going on in our team, um, any, anything like that, does anybody have any questions right now? Anything? Nothing? Wow, you guys, I see Nandi's face. She's like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> All right, uh, if you guys don't have any questions, you sure? I'll be posting the organization recognition probably tomorrow once I can get it pieced together. So um, congratulations on an amazing, amazing March. You guys really did rock it. And like I said, everybody was a piece or part of that. Without each of you, it doesn't happen. So congratulations um, on an amazing month. All right, any, any, no comments, no questions, no nothing. Kimberly, I'm shocked. What is going on here? Nothing. Okay, usually there's something, girl. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will post the article on the affirmations. I would encourage you guys to read that and the video done by Executive Director Stacey Turner. This is, it really is a mindset game, guys. It's all about mindset and, and getting it done and getting what you want done, all right? Okay, guys, have a fabulous, fabulous evening. See you guys soon.